Oh my God. Hi. Hi, good evening, Sandra. Good evening. I suppose that nobody uh, um, listen to me. Yes, I am listening to you. Oh, that's good. That's good. My sound is good then. Uh, <laughs> my earphones is, uh, is not functioning very well. Are not functioning very well. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose the teacher is not, is in here, right? I I I have. Hey, how are you doing, ladies? And oh, actually, yeah, just ladies. <laughs> How was your weekend? The weekend? Mm, some moved. It was what? Very moved. <laughs> Very moved? Yes. How, how so? Yeah. We had to work very hard because of the taxes. Because of the taxes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're and right. We have to go to church. And... I have to check on my taxes. Oh, have you done it? Nope, I've forgotten. Oh, my God. But my, my husband can help you if you want. Uh, really? He works for yes. the government? Uh, no, 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 no. But he, he makes the, the decorations. On oh, the okay. end of the year, you know? Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, got you, got you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, so uh, what about the weekend? What what else did you do? Did you have fun? Did you go out? No, I couldn't. No? It was not possible. It was not possible because I I was very delayed with my, my readings about the classes. And I had to to write it down very fast. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We have a very interesting and very advanced topic today. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering where's where where where's uh where's everybody? I don't know. Happen with them. Maybe because it's been raining. Is it raining? That's uh, not raining anymore. Not, yes, not teacher. Anymore. Here it's raining. Oh, oh, okay. Where where is it that you live in, uh, Patricia? Again. I live in San Juan Donualco. Oh, okay. La Paz. That is La Paz. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you like it there, or would you like? Ah. Uh, would you I prefer? Love of this this town would you prefer to live in a, in, in san salvador no san no. salvador not for me not no. for you why not no because here is uh stress free <laughs> stress free see si. yes, yes, yes why why ah uh, because i i live in uh, are among yeah. the trees uh, the birds uh, for dolls, uh, the beers or the birds? Because if you live about around the beers, <laughs> ah, I, the live, beer. I live around the beers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, but... I did. Birds, <laughs> birds, birds. <laughs> birds. <laughs> there are many birds in in each in in each tree that uh, is around my house. Did you grow up in the countryside? Uh, yes, I, I grow up in the country. 
Okay, that that's the reason why. Cause I've I've uh, lived in the city my whole life, so I'm like the other way. I would not be able to live in La Paz or basically nowhere that is not a city. I need to live in a city. But you know, I think we all get used to whatever you know. It's not the place, right? It's the people you live in with, right? So mm -hmm. if you have your family there, you know, and everything is good, then that's fine, you know. Good evening, Luis. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyhow, so that, I'm glad. How was your How was your weekend, Luis? Oh, it's very interesting because I'm. Um, Yesterday, uh, near a new cow. Y yesterday, what? Uh, born a new cow. Excuse me. Oh, a, mm. a new, a new, a new cow was born. 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 Yes. Was born. Oh. Um. <laughs> um. Two. Two. Uh, is is in the in the morning um uh -huh. a a a a n a a a n oh, okay a -A -N. okay all right i got you so you had wow that, that's crazy and how do you feel about it you it's funny it's funny that you're really proud about your uh, proud about your cattle you know yes i i saw the 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 born when when born the, the, the when they're the born you saw them is you saw yes. them yes it's very interesting <laughs> okay so all right okay do, do you always like how 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 usually is is it for you to to get like cows pregnant um Usually, uh, uh, all day uh, I saw uh, uh, a cow, but uh, and mm -hmm. my jaw every day is um, work with the product milk. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, guys. So I have no idea what happened to the rest, guys, but we're gonna have to get started. Okay. So. Anyway, so guys, we've been talking about uh, we've been talking about clauses, right? Clauses here and there, guys. Clauses is a very advanced topic, okay? So we're gonna talk about noun clauses and relative clauses, guys. How can you identify a relative clause? Have you wondered that? Have, have you wondered how you can identify a relative clause? How can when you we use that? that? When you use that, yes. Yeah. So every clause that starts with that is a relative clause? No, no, it doesn't start with that. But in the middle, we say, I want to tell you that. Hmm, okay. What? All right, okay. What else, what else? Yes, you can identify them. Identify them when they have a relative pronoun, right? You're right. But what else gets? What else makes a relative clause? I mean, because if there is, if there, if we have relative clauses, and we also have noun clauses, and we also have adverbial clauses, mm -hmm. how do you identify them? Because they can start close. with that, you know. So how do you do that? So how do you do that? All right, very good, guys. So we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to go back to to talking about. Um, relative clauses okay the reason okay. why is because we we need to learn how to identify them first in order to understand how you know what noun clauses are okay so what is a noun clause first of all 
You know, what? first, actually, guys, since you know we're having issues identifying a, a relative clause, let's let's talk about the relative clause first. Okay, so we know what a clause is, right? What is a clause, guys? It's a group of words containing a subject, a verb, and a complement, and a predicate. And a predicate. Very good. That is one hundred percent correct. Yes, right. You're right about that. Okay, so okay, so let's let's see if we can get an example of a relative clause. Okay, so relative clause. Okay, I can say, for example, uh, that is the lady. I. Uh, no, hold on, hold on, let me see. Let me see, guys, let me see. No, 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 all right, hold on. Let me try another one here. So you can say, oh, here, all right. So children who hate chocolate are in common. Okay, so where is the relative clause here? Okay. Who hate chocolate are uncommon, right? Right, very good. Um, let's see, what about, what about this? Do we have a relative clause here? So what do you think? Okay. All right. Very good. So guys, we can identify them, right? Because, oh, we have a relative clause. Okay. But they guys, most of the times, right? You can, I need to learn how to identify a relative noun now. Okay. I mean, I mean a noun clause, sorry. Right. So first of all, it is a clause, right? It is a clause because it contains a subject and a predicate, right? That contains a verb. So at the end of the day, what is the big difference between them both? All right, can somebody please help me read? What is a noun clause? Excuse me. A noun clause is a clause, um, a group of words with a subject and a verb that serves as a noun in a sentence, in the English language, nouns are the words used to refer to people, places, or things. All right, there you go, okay? So a noun clause is a clause, okay? It's a group of words with a subject and a verb, right? That is a clause, right? That serves as a noun in a sentence, okay? So what is a noun? They are used those are words used to refer to people, places, or things. Okay, so now clauses, guys, and I want you to pay attention to this part. Okay, include a subject and a verb, but they will function as nouns. Okay, at the end of the day, they are nouns, but they have a subject and a verb. All right. Adjective clauses and adverb clauses function as adjectives and adverbs. Noun clauses, and this is another very important point. Noun clauses are dependent clauses, right? And they cannot function alone to complete a sentence, right? Remember, we're talking about uh, we're talking about dependent clauses only, right? All right. So if I asked you, hey, you know what, what um, is a noun clause dependent or independent? Well, you know, the, the answer is it's a dependent clause, correct? All right. So anyways, let's take a look at an example. So this is the part that explains everything pretty well. Um, can somebody please help me read this part? By a beach hole. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Patricia. 
uh, now, uh, how noun clauses work? You can replace a noun clause with a noun or a pronoun. Consider this sentence. Did you hear what the, the announcer said? You can replace the noun phrase, what the announcer said, with it or that, as in, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that, right? Did you hear that? Okay, very good, guys. All right, very good. Okay, so, all right, guys. So we know that a noun clause can be, can replace a noun or a pronoun, right? Just like, you know, just, just like la usurpadora, right? They can replace your, your wife. So anyways, so, so, uh, so we can, we can use a whole phrase, guys. We can use a whole clause to replace this part. I want you to take a look at this. Did you hear what the announcer said? Okay. So did you hear what the announcer said? Let me ask you something. Can you identify the relative, well, not the relative clause. Can you identify the clauses here? Mm -hmm. Did you hear what the answer said? Can you identify the noun clause here? What is working as a noun? Uh, announcer. Yes. The announcer. The announcer? Mm, no. Any, any. You? What else? You? No. I mean, the noun clause, guys, clause. It has to be a clause, remember? Um, the clause is, did you hear what the announcer said? Okay, so the clause is, did you hear what the announcer said? Hmm, okay. Okay, so I want you to, to go ahead and take a look again, guys, at what a noun clause is, right? And a noun clause, is something that works as a noun, right? It's a clause, it's, it's basically a group of words that contains a subject and a verb that works as a noun, right? So if I say, guys, what the announcer said, is that a clause, yes or no? I think so, yes. You think so? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why? Why is because, that a noun clause? Because is uh, what is the is the the, the um, I think that the the pronouns the not the the name inside is the verb. Okay, guys, very good. All right, that is that is that is almost correct. Okay, so when we say guys, what the announcer said, did you hear what the announcer said? All right, this is a noun. This right here is a noun because you can replace the noun with, you know, what the announcer said Thanks. with it, with that, or like in did you hear that? See, did you hear that is the same as did you hear what the announcer said? Got it? So yes. because, because guys, we are replacing that, okay, that means, hold on. All right, so because we're replacing that, guys. That is replacing okay. what the announcer that, that said? Is, that, that is replacing what the announcer said, right? Oh my exactly. God. <laughs> All right. For example, let me tell me something. I'm gonna give you another quick example here. So it's it's easy, guys. It's easy. If you put it like that, guys, it's really easy to understand, right? I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Uh, let's replace that, okay? I want you to replace that for for anything. Let's say that I say, oof, I'm really interested in buying that. 
Now, do you know what that is, guys? What is that? Tell me something that that can be. An offer. An offer? Okay. An offer. Okay. What else? A car. Object. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But I want you to give me a phrase. Yeah, you're right. These are nouns. These are actually nouns, but I want you to give me a phrase. I'm really interested in. I'm, in I'm, I'm really interested in buying that house. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. All right, no. For example, these guys, okay? Let's replace that with something else. All right. Um, I'm uh, then, really interested in buying. What well, they are announcing? Listen to these guys. Listen. First, listen, okay? I'm really interested in buying what you offered me last night, okay? So I want you to notice this, okay? This right here. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I really, hold on. I can replace that and so I can replace that for this, okay? I can say I'm really, interested in buying i'm not saying that guys that i'm i'm not talking about that mm -mm. as a as a demonstrative adjective okay mm -hmm. that is actually working as a noun all right so you can say it right if, if you if you don't want to say buying that you can say it okay but basically i'm going to replace that with uh what, what? you offered mm -hmm. me last night See, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that guys, that right here, what is, what is that guys? What is that working as here? Tell me that, what is this? The uh, noun cloud. You offer the, noun. the noun cloud. This is a what? noun. No, 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 this is just a noun. Okay, that's just a noun. Okay. What you offer me, me last night, the noun cloud. All right, so now. All right, because this is, we can say it, guys. If you don't want to say that, that let's say it, right? Which works as a pronoun, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? Let's say that this is a pronoun, right? It, since, let's say, you know, this is a pronoun, right? Pronoun, okay? Anyways, so now, all okay. right? So now that, guys, okay, all right? I'm interested in buying that, that is replacing. What is it replacing, guys? The phrase that says what you offered me last night. What? Exactly. The phrase that says what you offered me last yes. night. Okay. Hmm. All right. You got it now? This is what this is the reason why it's called a noun clause. Okay. Whatever replaces noun, guys, that has a subject and a verb is considered a noun clause. Got it? Got it, teacher. All right, all right, very good. Okay, so uh, next step. Right, next step, let's see, let's have another one. Tell me something else that you can replace that with. With what, with what else can we replace that? Only that, mister? Only yeah. that? Only replace that? Mm, it? No, I think you're not understanding my question. With what else, con que más podemos reemplazar that? It? Um, it? It? Well, yeah, but with, I'm talking about phrase, like a, a, what, what are the phrases? Uh, I'm really mean? interested in inviting. I'm really interested in what, I'm sorry? Inviting, inviting it. Yes, no, yes, but but guys, I just gave you an example. Another that, phrase. Yeah, that is, I need, I need a noun clause. Give me a noun clause. Another noun clause. Yes. I'm the really new website for model. I'm the really same model. I'm really here. interested in buying what? I'm sorry? The same model, right? The newest uh, iPhone model that came out this year. 
Okay, the newest iPhone model that came out this year. Okay, so in this case, guys, do you consider, right, according to the definition of what a class is, do you consider that this right here, the newest iPhone model that came out this year is a noun class, yes or no? It's not dependent clause. Is, is it not a dependent clause? Mm, not dependent. Hmm, what do you think, guys? Uh -huh. I'm not sure. I'm I'm interested in buying right now. model that came out this year. And I'm really interested in buying it. I suppose, yes. What do you the think? Newest stipend, the newest stipend model that came out this year, that would be the, the so guys, In this case, guys, okay. In this case, mm -hmm. right? If we say, if we talk about um, if we talk about this, this is not a noun clause because a noun clause needs to have a relative pronoun, okay? So if we start with the newest iPhone model, right? Yeah, that's, of course, this is a clause, right? But it's not a noun clause, okay? It needs, a noun clause needs to start with a relative pronoun, okay? With what, with which, with what, with whatever, which who, which, which, with whoever, with whom, whoever, okay? Uh, that's, that's, that's what they have to start with, okay? All right, so anyways, so we have to say, for example, um, I'm gonna give you another example, okay? I really, hold on up. Uh, not the uh, let's say that I say I really like it. Okay, so let's make emphasis on it, guys. What is it? I like it. Oh no, separate now. No, transform, yeah, but transform it. Remember, we're gonna transform that it into a relative pronoun, right? Because it replaces it. So how do we do that? Like I said, I really like, we need, we need a relative pronoun, right? Yes. I really like whatever you bought me. Yes. All right. Is this part a, a noun clause, yes or no? Whatever you bought me. Yes, right? Yes. I really like, right? So I want you to notice the pattern here. I really like, what else guys, what else? Yeah. Give me another, I really like what you offered me before. Is this a noun clause, yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Notice guys that we have to use a relative pronoun, right? Continue, guys. Continue. Give me another one. Let's replace. Let's keep on replacing it. What else can we replace it with? What else? All right, do me a favor, guys. All you have to do is replace you. All you have to do is replace it. I want you to replace it with whatever relative, I mean, um, noun clause you want, okay? 
basically all you have to do guys is this okay in your notebook guys i want you to do this i want you to give me a list i'm gonna couple yeah actually because this seems a little bit complicated right but it's not it's not once once you practice enough guys you're gonna see it's not complicated i want you to say guys i really like it right and you are going to replace listen you are going to replace it. the word if it right a noun, clause. A, a, a noun clause exactly a noun clause how are you going to do that you're gonna say i really, I really like, like followed by a relative pronoun followed by the rest of the clause got it got it so that's how you are going to do it okay now if you say guys if you say for instead of it if you say, I like the cat, for example, <laughs> right? Is the cat a relative, now? I mean, a, a noun clause? No, right? No. Exactly. So I want you to replace it, guys, with okay. a relative pronoun. Okay, so I want, guys, I want um, I just really five, like five, five examples per couple, okay? Okay, any okay. questions? I'm gonna send a screenshot of this guys to the WhatsApp group in case you have questions, all right? All righty, let's go. Let's go guys, let's work. Five examples per couple. Joaquin, Nicole, let's go. I can join the teacher. The what? I can join my group. You can't join your group? No, yes. What <clears throat> happened? I don't know what happened. Are you not getting the, can you, do you not have the, the, the button to join? The yes, because I make a mistake in push up the, I don't know what, but join or not join, no, I don't join, know. Join, join back again, man, join yes. back again, okay? Yes. I really like and I really like what you offered me yesterday. I don't know, it's correct, mister. Let's see what yes, you yes. offered me yes. yesterday. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. That would be correct. Um, Go ahead, Patricia. Oh, okay, I really like it. Uh, I really like
Hello. 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 Are you ready? Joaquin, <laughs> can you understand? Yes, I don't understand the the what what are going what we are we are going to do. When you used to what? We need to substitute to substitute the word it or that for noun clause. Oh, okay. Example, when, what? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Five. Uh, we have to do to to give a uh, example for for that. He wrote, uh, "I really like it. I really like it. En realidad, me gusta. Yes. And I say, I really like what you offered me yesterday. Okay. And I you you I use what. Mm -hmm. It to change. It, it, it could be something like uh, uh, she was she was happy for uh, or or she was happy by what happened to her yesterday. It could be that she was happy and what I don't know. She was happy. She, she was happy by what happened to her yesterday but but happy and uh, no but, but the word mm -hmm. um, no correct but what what well mm. I, I don't know can you give, <laughs> give us uh, an example if you understand, Jancy? Uh, my example is I really like it and I change for the word it. I really like what you offered me yesterday. But it, that, but that is an example that we, we are uh, watching in the, in the plat, you know, in the corn, in the, in the spring. The screen share with the by the by the teacher. Another example, it could be it could be um I really like it, but what um no I really like it that you don't say, that I really like I, I really like it that uh, that you, oh, that, that. That, that you send me two more oh my god <laughs> I like my English class. if you have questions let me know guys okay class okay um right. wish are given Okay, I really like my English class, which is given virtually. The English class? Uh huh, my English class, which okay. is given virtually. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. I... I really like my English class, which is given yeah. virtually. Virtually. No, but in that case, okay, you gotta remember something. I really like my English class, which is in which is given virtually. It's a relative clause. 
because the information which is given in virtually is optional. Okay, in this case, you, need, you would need to say something like, I really like, um, I really like uh, what we see in the class, for example. Okay, so uh, the whole part of the object of the sentence needs to become the, the, the phrase, okay? Mm -hmm. The whole phrase needs to become the object of the sentence, right? Because an object can only be a noun or pronoun. Yes. Teacher, I, I have oh. one example. Mm -hmm. I really like people who see funny mo funny movie. Very. Good. I really like people who see funny movies. Very good. Yes, that is a good example. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and and I have other one is he was talk about which uh, natural the natural history. He was what? I'm sorry. He was talk about. He was talking. Uh, you mean talking? Oh oh. He was talking, yeah. Yes. He was talking about um, natural which, history. Uh, yeah. Which is a uh, natural history. Okay. Mm, I'm sorry, can you repeat your whole, your whole example again? Okay. Uh, he was talking about, uh, but I don't know if that uh, natural history. If you say he was talking about natural history, no, that's not a noun clause, no. No. Mm -mm, no. No, it, it needs to be a clause, remember? Yeah. Um. So no, about not, no. And it needs, it needs to start with a relative pronoun. Which is for example, the student so smart. Tell me. She's really interested in buying what she was asking. Maybe. She he, she's really interested in buying what she was asking. Yes, that is correct. Yes. That is correct. Okay. So you have to remember what, what an object is, okay? What the object of a sentence is. All right? This replaces, you know, the object or the subject. You can even say, you know, what she told me yesterday is what I wanted to hear. In that case, what she told me yesterday is the, the noun clause. Got it? Yeah. All right? Because that replaces, oh, know. that is what I wanted to hear. Okay? Does that make sense? Which is the, yeah. Which is, mm -hmm. I really like the student which are just really interested that so smart. Well, I don't know if I am I'm correct in telling this. I really like the car which my parents bought for me. Like we can replace with. We can replace the car which my parents bought to for me, I suppose. Which I really like it. Which I know. What I want. No, nothing to do. <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> Which students are so smart? I really like which. No, which no. I really like. Um, who? 
school students are can the students are so smart. I really like which students are so smart. I really like what it was taught yesterday. <laughs> right, that, that's fine. Good, that, that is that is a good example, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hey, if you have any questions, let me know, right? Because um, a lot of the examples that I've been hearing, some of some of you are getting are getting, are getting it right, but uh, there are some examples that you know we still need to work on, right? So, uh, can you share with me, Catherine and and Helen, some of the examples that you got? Hi, teacher. Sure. Um, I have. I really like what she's talking about. Is that correct? I really like what she's talking about. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I really like that you came today. I really like that you came today. Yes, that, that mm -hmm. is also correct. Uh -huh. I really like what Maria cooked for us. I really like, yes, okay, that is also correct. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like that uh, what he did for me. I really like what he yes, that is also correct. And finally I have I really like that you waited for me. That you wait for me. All right, I really like that you waited for me. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes, that, that is great. Good job. Okay. Uh, okay. I really like that you waited for me. Now, now here's the thing, okay? Be careful, because if you say I really like that you waited for me, yeah, I really like it. What is it, right? That you waited for me. Mm -hmm. That that is also that is correct, but you don't need to use that. So try giving oh. me examples without using that, okay? So I really like, for example, what you did for me yesterday. I really like. Uh, I really like um, whatever you said to me yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, example, so we right? can use um that, what? You can who? use whatever, whoever, whom, whom, wh uh, mm -hmm. who, that, which, right? Depending on the context, right? And this okay. example, and can you item, please mm -hmm. Hmm? Tell can you me. please give me an example using which? Which I really like. Uh huh. Uh, not with a real like. You have to change uh -huh, the sentence. Yeah, perhaps, it's, right? it's like <laughs> it's gonna be. Yes, uh -huh. uh, you have to say something else like um. Mm. Um. Like. 
<laughs> it's kind of I, yeah right? yes 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 <laughs> yeah but but the, the thing is you, that you we can, can use you, which you can, whatever uh -huh. yes if you say which right i mean you can say which but i can't i can't come up with an example right now <laughs> okay. uh, if because if you can say you know i really like a t-shirt which came you know in that case that turns into a relative clause not a not a noun clause right because you're yeah. saying the t-shirt right which so so no you, you can use it you know with uh with other relative pronouns right um yes you can use it with which but i don't have an example for you with which right now okay i'll have to look okay. it up <laughs> but yeah basically but but what my my point is you don't have to use that all the time okay that doesn't mean that. That means, you know, any any noun clause, okay? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. You. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> draw, right? Mm -hmm. Draw. Mm -hmm. Draw. Yes, of course. Okay. I really like how did how do you uh did you did you do? Did you do that draw? Uh, I really like how you did that draw. How you did? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you did that draw? How? I really like that. Really? I really like sounds that <laughs> that birds make make in the morning. I can hear you. Uh -huh. I really like sounds that birds make in the morning. So, uh, sounds. Sound. Sound. Uh -huh. Bird. Ah, the sound that Rick said. Uh -huh. The sound that birds make in the morning. Uh, or or maybe wish but wish birds. Yeah, because mm -hmm. because it's no it's no in the sentence. Uh -huh, yes, of course. Uh I really like the sound which birds make in the morning. Which birds in the morning? The I morning. have one. Huh? I really like which are singing a romantic a romantic song try try not to use try not to use which right uh in this case because that you will need to add an um a noun before so therefore you know it will remove the whole construction of your noun clause okay so we're gonna go okay. back now guys okay because it's almost time okay right. so Hey, Rafa, where did you go, brother? Hello. What happened? Hello. Hello. The light is gone. Oh, okay. Your lights went out? Yes. Okay. All right, I got it. I got it, sir. Anyways, uh, so, so we were talking... Um, Give me one second. So we were talking about the examples. 
that uh, hold on. So, so everybody was giving me examples right now of the noun classes. Okay, so that's that's basically what happened. Okay, so give me one second. All right, guys. So real quick, okay, give me uh, share with me your examples, guys. I know that some of you, your, you know, some of you had the uh, lights. Uh, gone for a minute, so let's have your examples, guys. Quickly, guys, because we only have a couple of minutes and I have another class. So, quickly, uh, Sandra, give me one of your examples. Sandra, could you please share one of your examples? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I really like what it was taught yesterday. Okay, so I really like what was that we we don't need to use it there. what was that yesterday okay so in this case that is correct good job this one is correct this is a noun clause okay good job um joaquin joaquin let's go oh you're muted you're muted 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 okay i really like it i really like uh when when you have me when you help me in the exercise plat, platform exercise with the okay platform i really like i really like i really like when you help me when you help me mm -hmm. with the platform exercise <laughs> platform exercise okay i really like when you help me uh okay i really like it i really like when you help me with the platform exercise okay what do you think about this one guys okay mm, it is too long maybe when you help me yes when you hit me when you help me uh -huh. when you help me and that's it you could Okay, all right. Uh, okay. All right, so yeah, that is correct, right? So in this case, right, we're using a relative plus, so I mean, relative pronoun, so that's correct, okay? Um, let's see, so, Yancy. Let's go, Yancy, give me one of yours. I told you treat me, treat me. All right, what? I really like how you huh? treat treat me. How you treat me? Treat me. Treat like me. Yes, yes, yes. Treat me. Treat I me. really like how you treat me. Yes. All right. Very good. This is correct too. All right. That is correct. Uh, good job, Patricia. Okay, teacher. I really like what what you showed me before. Well, you showed me before. Good job. This is also correct, right? Very good. Uh, so, guys, we only have one minute, so I'm not going to continue. I'm going to continue asking you tomorrow, guys. All right. <laughs> but basically, this is the reason why these are uh, noun clauses, right? If you see here, this is a noun clause. This is a noun clause over here. This is a noun clause. And this is a noun clause too. Got it? They work as noun because they can all, what do they have in common? They could all be replaced guys with that, for example, that. or you, they can or they could be replaced with it. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, or Cheyenne, right? You could replace Cheyenne. it with Cheyenne. Yes. <laughs> exactly. All right, very good guys. Thank you very much. I have another class now, but I'll see you tomorrow guys. Thank you. We'll continue Bye. tomorrow. Good night. Good night.